timer starts from here. I have no luck here on. Usually there's an orc alchem node right here. Someone's just been through here. There's a boss over here as well. You will find ads along this route, but there's someone already here, so that's why they've completed these. Usually an arrow calcum node. Yeah, this guy's mining area right here. some ads over here too. This is gonna be a full chest route. Um, I'll make another one for if you wanted to switch or if you wanted to just get like stockpiles and stuff like that for trophy mats. But if you um, Loot the small ones too, you get crafting mods and stuff like that, so 
I'm just showing you the full route. And then you guys can take a look at what you want and what you don't want. There we go. I just had me open area chat. <laughs> Okay, usually over here you could just okay since I'm in combat I can't but oh, shit, okay. what you can do here if you take out all your clothes um, you can just kill yourself right here and then you'll respawn back at the shrine as soon as I can take these off there you, go. you want to take them off because once you die you're going to Occur um, some damage to those items, right? And if you run these, I mean, um, this total thing again takes like the full route. If you want to run, um, well, I'll see, I have a timer, I stopped a bit, so it's gonna be different, but usually anywhere from like 45 to an hour, which is an hour is the exact time, and then you just spawn back at Lover Shrine. The hour is the exact time uh, that the first chest respawns, that the first chest that we loot. Um, and then you just cover your stuff on. I'll mark the thing on the map real quick too. Next one's right here. So you just go up, and there's a bunch of herbs along the way. If you want to grab them, you can grab a bunch of herbs too. Easy money, and if you, especially if you have um, something on your tool. I have soul molt, soul molts, so I'm getting even more. Um, I can, if you want, you can grab these wolves and stuff too. But again, this is I'm just gonna do chests for now um, to see the fastest chest run, and then you can incorporate as money other stuff that you want if you want to kill these guys and whatnot you'll get weapon xp they're fairly they're 58 right it's gonna be a bit hard but if you're geared you're, you're good if you want to diagro those mages you can just come here sit for a bit they'll diagro oh. <laughs> i missed that let's see yeah they should usually diagro and then you can just go up here Hey, what's up, man? I'm just running a um, chest route for a video real quick. Yeah, bro. Sands. Yeah, true, man. I this is what I've been doing too, but um, not a lot of people can get into Sands, and I, I remembered I seen this um, on another YouTube video too, so I was like, might as well try and make it for people to see. You can get a bunch of, you can get some schematics and stuff that you only get from Evanscale. So this is like I always incorporate this in my runs too this entire run um, and I recorded the whole thing and I'll post it as well you can see it um, takes an hour under an hour and you get a lot of shit from it these um, all these ads here if you're not comfortable by taking them one um, or all of them at once you can always just take one by one I'll just whoa <laughs> what <laughs> I don't know what happened there <laughs> I just teleported down and then teleported back up it's pretty funny Once you do this a lot, you can time these crates, so 
these ads don't kill you. And then if you get up here, um, you should be able to de-aggro all of them so you don't even have to kill them. But at the start, if you always want to upgrade your weapon masteries, you can just kill them. It's easy kills. And you just get back here, they all just de-aggro. This guy will sometimes attack you even if you're back here. Um, all you gotta do is just block and after a few hits he'll just stop and give up. I'm dodging these is because I ran this so much that you can you'll, you'll see once once you uh, once you guys try it and the more you do it you'll realize their attack patterns and you can just you literally don't even have to kill one of them um, minus the ones that get up top but those first chests you probably have to kill those but the majority of it you don't That's why it's good too if you're under geared. Um, you can get a lot of gear score bumps from this. We'll go over loot uh, later too at the end of it to see. I started with an empty inventory so you can see just how much loot you actually get from this. And again, I don't have any luck gear on. All my gear that I have is PvP, you can see. Alright, uh, did we pass it? There's more, there's more, um, herbs here, and then what I like to, I stop for these, is the, these as well, but I mean, uh, on all your runs, you can stop for it if you want, if you don't, um, it's totally up to you, but it doesn't add too much time, um, so I'm just gonna grab these wire fibers. In one run for Ebon Scale, the amount of herbs that you get could be easily like... I don't, I don't know, I, I haven't done the full thing, but I would say easily over a thousand plus or more. And again, your main objective is this chest, right? So the wire fiber, these herbs, like you can see, they're everywhere, right? Um, you'll get a lot, you'll get a lot from it. and then. They have the cooking ingredients, which don't sell for too much, but then again, it adds up. If you've been, if you run this consistently, um, look again, so many herbs right here as well, right? And those perks too, look, I have nine soul modes already. And those soul modes go for probably two, two coin each right now or less, but if you can imagine if you have that and you're collecting all these herbs you're, you're gonna get a good 200 maybe 100 150 200 there's a lot of herbs right you can collect a lot of herbs so it just depends on how much you collect you can legit <laughs> spend the entire time going back and forth in evan scale because there's so many uh herbs here and just collect them all um you'll get a lot so that's just like a byproduct of this chest run too. Good for recipes too, because there's a lot of provisions crates on here. You know how I'm cutting down trees? Yeah, yeah. Give me the loot. <laughs> I got you, bro. All this loot is yours. The gear and stuff you might just um, scrap, but everything else you could possibly use. And the recipes too, I don't even need them. Unless I get the golden fish or whatever it is, goldfish in a pork lean bowl, I'll keep that and then the golden steel storage chest. That's big money. Everything else is all yours, bro. <laughs> 
And these, again, these are adds that if you are not that high level, you can't take their shots. Um, kill them at the start. Don't get them all together because they do some damage, not a crazy amount of damage, but if you collect a lot, just like any adds, they will kill you, right? You gotta watch out too if you um, if you bring in too many, you might get body blocked, just like how I got there. And I was lucky; there's only one. But if there is more, um, that's a shit show, and you might get rocked. So just careful for that. There's one more chest. Um, like here, I'll I'll show you guys. So you can see all the chests, but I don't usually go for these two chests because they're just kind of out of the way. Um, I'll just show for purposes so you can see all the chests. weird there's no chest down there um, I don't know it's kind of strange it's a whole little thing there's a beast there but no chest it's kind of weird um, but yeah so if you want to grab those two chests you can go up there if you don't um, just continue this route here just don't go left there's a chest right there and there's kind of like a hidden chest back here If you run this, I, I can guarantee you guys you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of um, recipes, like cooking recipes and stuff like that, because there's a lot of perversion crates. Trying to throw some flair into it. <laughs> Trust me, it gets um, it gets boring after a while. Just like anything, right? You're gonna keep on doing it over and over again. Um, it, it just depends on how many times you want to do it. So, just to be sane. Over here, um, some people might have trouble. So just make sure to kill the adds before you get to this boss. You can chunk her or him, whatever this is, but um, I have seen people die from it, so I have died from it too. So just, yeah. And that's why it's, um, I didn't do it at the start because I know I'm not going to die. <laughs> um, but you can, you can place a campfire right outside, um, this temple where we started. So if you do die for whatever reason, um, again, it happens, it happened to me. Um, you can just spawn at that camp and then you'll be right back here. There will be a closer run than the lover shrine where we started from.
right? Because that lover shrine is like all the way here, so that's a that's a far walk or run. Once you've gotten, um, well it actually just depends, I, um, sometimes I skip these provision crates, all of these provision crates because I have pretty much all the recipes, um, so I just skip it, but they do give you good, uh, cooking ingredients and again, the more you run it, those will stack up, so it's always a bonus, um, but again, if you wanted to do just the stockpiles, um, I'll make an edited run with this, so it just shows the stockpiles. Um, that's going to be a lot quicker. You'll be able to get a lot more stockpiles because it's not going to just be um, a few locations. It's going to be basically everything in heaven scale, um, and you can also get some in like reek water before the first stockpile. Settings are a bit high. Gonna the majority of the stuff you're gonna get is most likely tier four, like the armor and stuff, armor, weapons, and all that. Um, but again, well, what I'm looking for mainly when I come here is the craft mods and the um, like trophy mats. And of course some of the schematics, like um, I, can, I can take a look afterwards, but there are certain schematics and certain furniture items that you only get from Ebon Scale. Like I believe, for example, the goldfish in the bowl, pork plain bowl, something like that, um, you can only get it from Evan's skill, nowhere else. And that is like a gold cap item by itself, or probably even more, some people even want to pay more than that. I've seen some people advertising like they would buy it for one mil plus like stack of asthma or some stuff like that but it's just people talking right but you can definitely get a lot for that i know the golden steel steel storage chest they sell for like 300k plus this guy one guy was just advertising too he was selling for 300k okay um this little thing you just want to be careful you're going looking straight ahead right if you don't look straight ahead you'll actually fall down and then it's just annoying then you're gonna have to come all the way back up Over here is gonna become there's a name boss. There's a name boss, and I think it's like an alkalite. Um, it's a bit difficult, but it's not again it's not impossible. You can definitely solo it, and it looks like someone is already here, so it should be easy. I think someone killed it already. Yeah, they killed it.
Hey, sorry about that. I just seen that message. Um, you need full light armor to um to roll. Yeah, you need full ar light armor to roll. You don't necessarily need um. So you can have any weapons you want. Sword, fire staff, ice gun, any any weapons you want. You just have to be in light gear. Um, the things that you can get the maximum weight is most light is light headwear, medium chest, light glove, light leg, and light foot. That will get you to the closest. Um, yeah, exactly, four light and one medium chest. That will be your best, um, you'll have the most, uh, what do you call it, uh, what is this, the rating, yeah, but the shield has weight so medium chests don't work, um, oh, okay, yeah, so if you're rocking a shield, um, yeah, so then if you're rocking a shield, most likely light, I don't know if you can rock, um, a shield with light and it will give you those ratings like you, you'll still be in light but take a look I'm not 100% sure over here I kind of messed up I dragged a bit too much um, but usually you don't drag all of these um, you can kill them one by one because you most likely will die if you pull them if you don't have enough like DPS and whatnot, I'm ru I'm running with my DPS build for PvP, so just be aware of that. And these stupid um, ghosts, they have such a huge proximity to when they attack you, so like you attract a lot. This person right here, this named boss, and then there was a named boss in there. They drop um, some like gear score expertise increase bumps and also they drop gypsum orb that one in there drops a gypsum orb not this one um not this one here the one in there drops a gypsum orb as well so you can get your daily gypsums from that and i believe or oh, there is one more right here too um when he spawns you can camp him too or if he has spawned and you want to wait you can get um, some more loot here because all three of these named bosses um, I'll make another video on that too, but these are legit a one minute cooldown. Oh, he's he just spawned. It's perfect. I'll show you guys. So you can kill him too easily. Not that difficult to kill. See, these guys are farming him too. So you know people... They, they drop um, refining gear, like I believe it's woodworkers or we, uh, weaver's shirt or some stuff like that. They drop those stuff. Whoa, did it just, I don't know what the hell just happened. Um, AGS? Hello? <laughs> okay, that's the tactic. <laughs> You can just hide in um, this fireplace right here, and they <laughs> won't attack you. Oh, that's funny. I just figured that out. Bad. These guys are easy kills. They're like one-two shots. Um, easy farms too, like mastery. You can just collect them all and then bring them down here. That's what I did when I um, was trying to bump up my level for my weapons. They're legit like two shots. Probably maybe even one shot for some people. This guy is a bit like, he's annoying because he just chunks a lot of damage, but you can get him again. It's easy. This guy is a named one, so I'm not exactly sure what he drops, but you can definitely get named for nope that's not a name but expertise bumps you can that one was a 505 which is trash but again you can hmm these are just like the ancient coffers and brimstone that's interesting 
I just realized that now. And yeah, this is the full, full run. Um, I'm grabbing at almost every chest um, that's on this run, these runs, because for the craft mods and stuff like that, right? Um, but if you want to just do stockpiles, um, watch the. You can basically just look on this video and skip to the stockpiles, or just wait for the other one because I'll make a, another modified version of this afterwards. Um, that'll just go to the stockpiles. And it's gonna be quicker because what I'm gonna try and do is get it in within like an hour mark so it's just repeatable, repeatable in a circle without going to other locations. I think the fastest stockpile run I've done was within Evan Scale and then I hit up I think two spots or two or three spots for like I think six or seven more stockpiles in um, Weaver's Fen, I believe. And over here, there's um, a boss that spawns too. Um, he has a bit more like damage, but if you come here, he, he'll de aggro. And once he de aggroes, you can just stay behind here, loot the chest, and you're gone. Here, this is the guy. He's getting chunked because there's three of us on. But solo, you will, like you see, he, he chunked a lot of damage. And I believe that is it there. Okay, and then there's a soul mode you can get there. Um, and stuff like that. At this point, what I would do is just go around here. And if you have um, any of your homes, or if you can get a recall for in, just recall to your in. But I'll recall to my house here. Because that's the, that's done, we're done this portion. What we just did is start here. Went here, here, jumped across, and got these chests. And the next location is right here. So again, that was an Evan scale, and this shrine right here. Teleport to Pilgrim's Rest. Once you are here, I'm gonna go up to. Now this is this is totally up to you if you want to do this. This is a bit longer um, because it goes a bit further in. But I again, I'm gonna show you the entire run in Evan Skill that I do. Um, you can modify it to however you like because this is a bit longer. But it does give you an extra, I believe, two or three supply stockpiles and if I'm not mistaken I think there is an elite chest up here but I might be wrong these enemies they're gonna be a bit harder so I would recommend trying to get them one at a time because they will do damage to you if you're not, if you don't have the right armor and stuff like that. So one by one though, they're very easy to kill. The muskets, see, you can try and just ignore them as much as possible. So you can de-aggro and just keep running. So that, and just hop over there. There's an iron node you can grab here too. Don't even have to kill those. 
the more you do it, the more you'll understand how they swing, and you can just get right under them. Same thing with this chest up here. I suggest you kill these before you group them all up. Or if you're fast enough, nope, it didn't work. So yeah. Sometimes you can do it. I have done it where I sneak away the chest real quick. But you just have to be quick and just kind of line of sight them. So from that you'll be okay. These give iron hide, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, they give iron hide and red meat, so if you wanna skin them as well, you can too. Iron hide, I don't think is going for much, but yeah, it's an option. That's why I like this run, because you get a lot more than just chests, right? These named guys, you get, you can kill them all um, if you wanna level up in a, a weapon, so you're getting two out of one because you're getting chest, you're getting weapon expertise. And if um, the more you kill them too, you'll get ebb and scale standing as well. So you can increase that territory standing. So orc alchem node right here. It's kind of hidden too. I didn't see it. I didn't notice it till someone actually farmed it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, there's an Auric Alchem node. And you want to get this because there's another node underneath that. Right here. And again, extra money if you have. Um, something alignment I, on all my tools i have um soul alignment like soul and death i feel like um they have the most return but it just depends on what you're making because i make proficiency boosters with the soul modes right which sell for a bit but you can use um I believe there's earth motes or water motes. I forget which ones they are to make like oak flesh bombs. Those sell as well. Um, or you could always just refine those modes into higher tier um, like quintessences and they sell for a good amount. I know my power for like I'll sell the powerful um, proficiency boosters for like probably 200. And they sell 200 each. I haven't sold it for quite a bit now, um, so I don't know what the prices have gone to, but I'm sure they're not that. Uh, I, I could well, maybe suck it, but I think probably like 100 plus should be, unless someone is just lowballing it like crazy, which you can see from the mats, right? how many mats it requires because I think it's one soul quintessence and um, a death quintessence I believe or air I'll have to double check but they are quintessences and quintessences goes for like 60 some even more you can dodge that or you can just kill them over here, this is kind of sketch, but yeah, you can get it that way, or you can just run down. And same thing here too, you're going to try not to just get all of them, because this guy hurts too. He will do damage, but just because I'm, I guess I'm being cocky, or I just know that I won't die, at least not right, not right now, so I can just farm this with all of them here. And if you get them, this guy's just a line of sight. Oh, guess not. There you go, easy. See, his solo kills like that. When I did it, I, I kind of had fun. I. I used it for like 
I treated it like another PvP, like an actual player or something like that, and then I practiced my moves, right? With my bow and shit like that. Okay. Um. I can't believe this guy followed me this far. Okay, so you have a tentacle there, and then this is the main boss. If you have a ranged, you can just pull him. It's fairly easy to kill. Um, but just if you can't tank both of them, you can kill them easily. And this guy drops um, obsidian, obsidian gypsum, I think it's called. That one as well. And then another vein right here. There should be some, um, like once you run around here, you'll see some pages as well. If you, um, like I forget what their stories or whatever there are. Yeah, there's a least supply chest right here, so once a day. Oh, these, this one's changed to 11 hours, okay. Yeah, that's um, 24 hours because it resets at 5, right? So that's this is one chest you get. Free elite crate, basically. Solo one. Um, and then once you're done that, if... Oh, you jump from here, and did I lost track? Hold on. Uh, you want to go here, so you want to go this way. Heal up if, uh, in between jumps if you need to, because it does like pretty much some damage. I've never died from that, but I don't know if you have low health, you might. So it, it is a few jumps. Another more iron nodes here, and then if you come here, there should be more as well. Yeah, down here, some more iron. Again, I'm just skipping it just because of the chest run, but you are more than welcome to grab that, and that'll just add to your run. And then you wanna come here. If you press auto run, uh, you can jump out of those windows a lot easier. It's a good tick, uh, trick for whenever people are running world tours in Ebonscale, um, especially Imperial Palace. I went the wrong way there. Oh wait, nice, I won't aggro that guy. But usually you just jump off there and you won't aggro the guy in the middle. Yeah. 
you are fast enough, you can just grab the chest before he even hits you. And you can just basically run to this next one. And they won't hit you. If you're fast enough, like, see? You don't even need to kill any of them. You can just run to the next one. The next place we want to go to is over here. It's going to have um, three more, I believe, stockpiles, and then a few more chests as well, small chests. Um, the earth turtle right here too. You can grab that. And someone has looted them, but usually there is silk weave right here. Silk weed or um, yeah, I think it's called silk weed, right? The second in uh, weaving, not fibers, not wire fiber, but yeah, silk weed. See if you're fast enough too, you don't even need to get that guy. If you are gonna do what I'm doing, just know that they might come for you and you better be ready. Yeah, it's solo, but it's like, you're not in a level like 10 zone, right? This is 52 to 50, 52 to 60, so these guys will hurt. Um, again, you don't need to kill all of them. Some more hemp right here. Over here, this one, if you don't want to kill, yeah, you can do this. And just block, and they should de aggro. Just pot up again. Yep, there you go. Just gotta block, have your pot, because they will break your stamina. You can just loot that, and then you're out. You go to the next one. Or if you want to kill those, you can kill them too. It's they're not hard. For this chest, you can just loot it through right here. You don't even need to go inside. This as well. Sometimes you can loot it before they even see you, but other times probably not. There you go. Get up here. Again, you have a lot of enemies on you, so just do this if you know quick enough because if you don't, you're gonna die and then it's just gonna slow it down, right? Some lodestone you can grab right there. I don't know if this is gonna work. I wanna try this. Nope, it's not. So you have to kill these two. Just because this one is ranged, right? Um, they'll hit you, even if you're up top there. But if they're not ranged, you can usually do that. And again, they hurt, right? So just be aware of that and only pull how much you can pull.
one bad too if you want. Um, and right here, what I do is just again take off all my clothing. Because again, once you die, you will get your clothing will be damaged, and that's just more money to repair everything. So I just like to take it off because we've died once in Evan Scale, and this is going to be the second time that we're going to die. If you do that with your armor, um, it will get below half from full. I'm pretty sure, but if not, it is pretty darn close. Okay, um, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, so this timer right now, we're at 53 minutes, and I stopped a bit, a lot, actually, I stopped, so I ran it a little slower. This could be done in this point, once you're done here, I believe it's like close to 40, 43, 45 minutes. Um, so what you can do as well is go in ebb and scale. Now this is not, um, like it's going to be hard, you might die. You probably will die, but I'll just include it within the run. Um, but if you wanted to stop there, that is ideal and you can just stop as a solo run. Um, and yeah. And then right here too, you can see this is perfect. Um, I'll make another video too maybe, but there's star metal ores all along. This is where we are. So if you go all along around here, 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 all around this, you're gonna find star metal and ore calcum. Okay. So put that Oh, sorry, actually, this is, um, this should be included because we're not going into, we're not going into that place just right now. I forget what it was called. Um, it's called Imperial Palace. Yeah, we're not going into Imperial Palace right now. You can go to these to grab a bit more chests. This will be actually the solo chest. And then again, you can include the Imperial Palace chests as just regular ones. Um, sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll find a world tour happening at the same time as you come here. Um, if it is, if you do find that happening, I would just join the world tour and finish that. And then you can grab these chests after that world tour. Because trust me, those those chests over there, they are hard. You will die. I guarantee you it. I will maybe, once I figure out how to get all those chests without dying as frequently. But for now, um, you will die. <laughs> Unless you can see it, you, will, uh, you find another video. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible, it's definitely possible. I've ran the entire Imperial Palace minus the, um, the parts where there's those named bosses, right? Obviously you can't get those solo, or at least I can't, there are people can. Um, but yeah, you can get everything else. And another thing too, sometimes you'll find randoms running this run or running Imperial Palace. If you do find that, then it's a bonus. So that's the end of this run here. Um, this is the solo one. So again, we started here in Lover Shrine, went here. We killed ourselves, then went here, from here we went here, and then we jumped off that ledge and went across, looted these things, and then teleported back to our house or an inn, and then from there we went here, then we ran across, we went up, grabbed an elite chest and I think one or two supply stockpiles, and then from there went down here. And then from here went here, and then we killed ourselves, and then came here and did a few chests here. And this time, um, I guarantee you, you'll get to like 55 minutes or somewhere around that time to where the first chest that we looted that was over here 
would have respawned by now. So you can just respawn here and then do the entire run again. Um, if you are doing it consistently um, throughout the day, you'll find a lot of orichalcum nodes because people farm these orichalcum nodes that are here, right? Um, but if you're running it consistently, you'll find those orichalcum nodes and get those as a byproduct too. I've easily stacked up like 10k orichalcum ore um, just by running this chest route. I'm not even farming orichalcum, I'm just running the chest route. So yeah, that's the run for there. I'm going to stop this stream um, right now so I have this and then I'll start it back up in a bit. Thanks for watching.